everybody. This is Living Dread Girl with Locks, Knots, and Stitches, a fiber arts podcast. And this is episode six. Thank you so much for joining me today. I live here in beautiful Rochester, New York with my son, Turbo Joe. He's my producer as well. Um, we have three dogs, four cats, a boa constrictor, and that new bearded dragon we got. So I just want to say thank you to all the returning viewers and welcome to all the new viewers. <sighs> it's been an interesting week to say the least. And that's mostly all I do with work as we all know how the ups and downs of work goes. So <laughs> it's been interesting. Um, let me start with a few min administration things. Normally I would um, say where you can find me at. I did make a few changes, so uh, let me grab my notes real fast. Okay, so first I want to start with Instagram. I did change it from Demolition Debbie 199 to locks underscore knots underscore stitches. And my email is still stitches at gmail.com and you can still find me at Ravelry at Sparkling Water zero 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 okay and then a few other things I am I'm working still working on branding myself I'm just not sure how to get all my ideas out um, I know part of it is you don't want to go over you don't want to make it over complicated um, with the cost of printing and you just want a simple but like whoa, I know who that is type of brand. You remember, um, you know, a couple companies had like very simple brand and you were like, I know who that is just from the, just from that simple, very simple logo. So, um, I'm working on that. I'm trying to simplify my ideas. They're a little, uh, a little crazy and complicated. And then... So I am not making a Ravelry group as of yet, but again, should the demand require it, I will work on that. Unfortunately, I'm not prolific on Ravelry. I do search patterns like no one's business on there, but then that's kind of where it stops for me. So <laughs> that's why I'm kind of shying away from the Ravelry group for now, but again, if the demand needs it, I will definitely do that. Um, another thing, I might be doing a de-stash, but not necessarily giving away, but making tons of blankets. That was an idea that crossed my mind. I, I really should just, excuse me, start a bunch of blankets and get them done. And maybe a few um, simple cardigans um, with like a, with the bulkier yarn with a, a single crochet and some light cabling and that's it. So those are some thoughts I had on that. Um, and I believe that is it for, oh, one more thing in my administration. Um, for my 100th subscriber, I, when I reach that point, I will be running a giveaway. I will be making a project bag. I will show you some of the ideas. And I will obviously be giving away some yarn um, and some stitch markers or progress keepers however you want to whatever you want to call those so I will be doing that um, I was thinking of a cotton blend I'm not sure yet I I meant to go to the just to look in a store um, just to take a peek I wasn't sure which which way I wanted to go, which uh, what people thought, but you can most definitely make suggestions, and but it's a little ways off, so no worries, we'll find something. So this is the outside, and then I want to do that as the inside. I know it's a little busy, but I thought it'd be bright and fun, especially during uh, winter you're working on your project, something bright and fun. Um, I was thinking about putting in, for this one, I could do a zipper, should you, if there's any protest against the magnets. 
Um, but I was thinking about doing the magnet thing or a drawstring since you closed, but I think the magnet would work best for this. So that's that. <laughs> Excuse me. So what am I drinking? Well, this is, I think I've showed you this mug. Oh, my face is in the way. And it has the little crackles in the paint. It is... I know... I think it looks like it was made in Canada. Weird stamp on the bottom, but... Um, and then it's dark in the inside, which is really cool. I am drinking, um, it's, <laughs> it's focusing on my arm. New Me Organic Tea, and this is the Gunpowder Green Tea. But, <laughs> I'm also drinking it with coffee, so. <laughs> I do mix them. It's true. I like a good caffeine rush in the morning. Nothing to jolt that heart. Um, but yeah, I do like the mixture of tea and coffee. It's pretty cool. Alright, on to charity works. So, haven't done a ton. Um, sorry, I keep looking down at my notes. I'll probably bring them up here. I haven't done a ton. Um, if you... Well, I was right the first time. Oh, this way. If you look right there, that was what I was going to use to make a, another dog blanket. Or cat blanket. Um, let's see here. I've made little progress on the baby <laughs> blanket as you can see so maybe about three rows <laughs> right now I'm working on the middle section which is just all um, knit pearl knit pearl so hmm. been a little busy um some of my thoughts were a knitting machine for some charity works someone did bring that to my attention she wanted to bring she wanted to get a knitting machine to make stuff for her children and it I had thought about it in the past um, people showing videos of um, the knitting machines making hats and whatnot and it kind of you know especially when you're doing the winter drives for you know coats uh, mittens, scarves, all that, a knitting machine wouldn't be so bad, especially when you, you, you want to make something from the heart, but it, it could take a lot, you know, so I feel that's a thought, um, I'm not exactly sure how far that thought's going to go, like, like I had the thought the loom knitting and it's expensive, really nice loom so I'm just like whew, same thing with the knitting machines um I would obviously go for something a lot simpler I'm not gonna necessarily put this do the ones where you put designs in I was just I did look into all of them I did you know watch a bunch of YouTube videos and I was thinking more I like the ones you just turn and you know you have a hat something simple like that so that was my thought there. <coughs> Excuse me. So in my notes, I was like, I'm going to have a, a brioche. I keep moving my head. A brioche stitch for my FOs and never happened. <laughs> oh my god. I keep seeing all these things about brioche and I don't do it. I've been kind of busy. I I have so many ideas and so many things going on. And just Apparently I can't do it all but 
I still try. So the first FO, if you see me on Instagram, um, can you, I'm just going to put it on my shirt here, if you can see, and then I'll hold it up. This is a lace swatch I did. And I will bring it closer for you so you can see. I blocked it. It was really nice. Put it up here for you. Whoops, sorry. Put it to the side. There's more black. there for a minute and <laughs> I was on Pinterest looking for lace swatches and I got it this is lace crochet there you go so I just printed that um, it was a little hard to read uh, this is the so this is a picture of it I don't print in color and this is the the graph, the crochet graph. I used a 3.125 millimeter crochet hook. I seem to really like this look, hook for a lot of different yarn weights and I went to go buy another one and it's not that easy. I would have, this came in a three pack so I would have to buy the whole three pack so if I have another coupon I'll go for it. But. You know, when you go to Michael's or Joann's or AC Moore, you know, the coupon thing. So this was a little difficult to read. Um, I don't know if you can. The numbers aren't that great, so. Excuse me, but I kind of figured it out. You know how much, what the chain spaces were. And whatnot, and you can count some of these so you know. So it wasn't that difficult to to read. It was just mainly a couple uh, chain spaces at the end. Nope, you can get my face again. That were difficult at the end, and then I made the middle spot. A little too, um, a little too small, according to this. But again, it still worked out because because of this part that you're doing. And if you chain all this correctly, this middle piece is okay. But um, so I did like either chain four or a chain six. And I should have did like a, hmm, I'm not sure, maybe a chain 8 or 10. Um, I also pulled it tight, just like you would a magic loop, I think they call it. Excuse me, I don't do magic loop, I just do the chain, and I can pull it tight the same way. And I also use that to bury my, uh, my end in. But yeah, I'm very happy with this. Um, I love it to death. So I think it's time I move on now to making a full lace garment. I was thinking, I had a couple different ideas, but it's time to move on to make a lace garment. And this was in, I made another project out of this, but I will... This is in the Patton's Classic wor uh, Wool Worsted. And it's a natural mix color. This was, oh, this was 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 100% pure new wool. This was made in Turkey. It's approximately 192 meters and 210 yards. Is that what I got here? Yep, 210 yards. Um, like I said, it was a medium four weight. Asked for a 
five millimeter knitting needle and five millimeter crochet hook. Obviously, I used the three point one two five millimeter. So that's that. And then what I also made out of it, I'll show you the first one I did. Um, these are all kind of coming apart here, but so I made this. You're like, what in the world did you make? A triangle? It's actually a hammock for a bearded dragon. Um, wrong hand. I will put the picture, move my hand a little bit right up here and I believe this picture will be in the quarantine tank as I don't have enough time right now because I have to donate my computer to roller derby um, to show you his better tank I apologize I will post it on Instagram remember I'm locks underscore knots underscore stitches on Instagram so um, Please look for it on Instagram for the updated tank, now that he just finished his last bit of meds, which I will go into further. So, yes, I have to knit something for every single animal, or crochet. So then, I just bought these little, these, uh, these are amazing by the way, these suction cups. Um, they are really strong. I, at my work, they have these suction cups that are crap. And, I, I don't know. They're just crap. Everything always falls. Well, I bought these. And these just, like, no problem. Just, whoop, stick right on. I don't know if these, if there's, um, if there's special types or what. But I made sure that this had the plastic hook and not the metal one. So it just, as you as you saw in the picture, you know, I just hook it on and it just hangs on. Well, I showed a friend at work. She wanted one too, so I whipped her up one. And yeah, and I you do need to block this. Um, I'm going to point that out real fast. I did block both of them. Uh, just so it stretches out and it's you get the correct size for the tank so you can see you do need to block it but I made her one too and so that's why there's only like this much left I love this yarn by the way I think a lot of people like wool I just want to show you I found I had some scrap yarn I probably I bought um not probably I did buy at the Salvation Army or Goodwill and I just made these beautiful granny square that I should block. <laughs> I'll just show you. This would be cool. I think in a lace weight pattern. But I think I would need a lacier edge that would connect to something. Um, I don't remember this pattern, but I mean, by looking at this, I can figure it out and just crochet it up. But I think this is something I want to do in a lace weight. And then, like, this, not this edge, I would leave this edge I no you know what I wouldn't leave this edge I would do a little bit of lace at this top last edge except for the corners and then I would do another lace edge on top of that and then maybe pull them together and make and use that to make a garment so that's a thought okay so I did something, and I will show you the something I did. So I made stitch markers. So I 
will show you a couple of them at a time. I have two though my fingers can hold. It's with your your typical <laughs> she did up close and I can't. And it's just with your typical clamp right there. So I'm just stay right here and show you a few more. This is a lot easier if I just get closer. Jacked up nails, please. My job just tears them apart. I need quite a few. I'm pretty proud of myself. It took me a minute to figure out how to get them together. I had a few different ideas and I didn't like my first idea. I can't turn my hand. So you have like that one. So there's two of those. something to mow all these on. But I thought those were pretty cool. I really like making stitch markers, by the way. So, it might be something I consider uh, making an Etsy shop for. I just like doing it. There you go. I think this one's, yep, this one's the same one. And again, I post them on Instagram. And then, you'll see later on, I'm currently using the other one of this one. And then you'll see later on, I'm currently using the other one of this one. some things done but again like I said I'm trying to do 500 things and I can't always do 500 things I did not complete any sewing so sorry about that no brioche no sewing <laughs> oh dear all right so as I told you, I'm, in, I'm really into lace work, and I'm trying to get more into it. I... Well, let me first show you... I... I, uh... Well, yeah, I'll just show you these. Right? Okay, that's... Okay. I did buy... I'll get up again. This is easier this way. I'll turn a little bit. So I did buy some new uh, hooks. This is a 1.4 millimeter, 2.1, 1.6. I went nuts. I did. And I'll probably get more. 1.5, 1.75, 2.35, 
2.2 millimeter. And a 1.7 millimeter. And these are Susan Bates. I really like these ones. The Susan Bates ones. Oh, excuse me. Um, just not sure why. I just like the way they work. The tips are a little bit. I think. Okay, so the boil one. I don't know. Maybe it was me. Maybe it was me. Feels a little bad, but the hook is not symmetrical or whatever. That's cool. And you know, I was complaining I didn't have a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, so oops, holding the tip. I went and got one. <laughs> Personally, I think I need to focus more on buying the hooks and needles I want. And not so much yarn. So I'm definitely going to de-stash. And I'm going to try and do like a lot of this. Make a ton of donation items. Um, like for example. I'll show you something. I love making these. I think I've showed you these before. Is these pouches. I make all kind of sorts of designs. This one just, I keep this in. I'm not sure if I showed this, but I wanted a small uh, tape measure, but they didn't have super small ones. I bought a really small one, but it didn't have centimeters. Oh, geez, my face. I keep it in my head. Um... Uh, I feel everything, I feel like I needed centimeters, um, the metric versus the American. I felt I needed both for measuring, so this was only a dollar, too, so, at Walmart. But anyways, I made a little bag for it, but I love making little bags for that, so, maybe put like a little... You make different size bags and put a little surprise in it for charity, whatever. Stuff like that. Okay, so. On to more stash stuff and then I'll show you my lips. Kind of went a little out of order than I usually go, but yeah. I didn't exactly put good notes in my, my notes, so found something I shouldn't have bought, but I did, so, <laughs> gotta get going, <laughs> I'm trying to de-stash and I, I see things, it's not like I'm buying like hundreds, it's like ten dollars here, <laughs> but it, it, you know, it collects, so, I bought about three of each of these colors, and I'll show you, so everyone was talking about the mandala, the yarn and blah 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 and I did want a few acrylic excuse me a few acrylic um uh, maybe scarves or shawls something that can look all cute and fancy but I can like run in it <laughs> get it all nice and sweaty um something like in the middle of winter uh something I can get full of dirt, throw in the machine and dryer and not to worry about it. I wanted something simple, so, but that would look fancy, because <laughs> I would take the time and make it look fancy. So, and plus I wanted to try all these. I was so curious and everyone else, but this is the mandala. I don't know what color this is. This is I wasn't looking for it, and then I thought of it. Pixie. Probably should get a piece of paper here. So you can see the color a little better. And 
and it's uh, 590 yards, 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 540 meters. And it's a, a, a number three light, and it takes a 3.75 millimeter knitting needle, and it says a five, crochet, five millimeter crochet hook. And that's just the both of these. And this color is, this has a little sparkle in it. Well, maybe it doesn't. Oh, it looks like it did. This one is unicorn. Oh, my God. Wow. Ooh. This one I definitely have to knit for roller derby. So, I wonder what, I mean, almost these two together... Unicorn all the way. So, yeah, something I shouldn't have done. And, <laughs> and then, of course, I found this stuff again. It was the uh, Fashion Plus. And this was that mixed fiber. It was acrylic, polyester, nylon, and wool. Weird, but I wanted to make... It does smell like wool. Oh, yeah, it smells so good. And there's like three, it's really, really my type of color. It's really pretty. Um, I wanted to make some, yeah, it comes in this ridiculous bag. Um, it was, it's 400 grams, 14 ounces, so. Yeah, it comes in this, there's three of them. I don't know why I like it, I just do, but. Um, it is a little on the thin side, so it's probably around a 3.75 to 3 millimeter needle or hook. I'm probably going to use a 3.5 hook and make uh, fingerless mitts. And I want them, I want it with the finger cuffs and the thumb, and then go down to here, about maybe right here, and then go either to my elbow or above my elbow and that be lace so that was a thought I wanted to do uh, let's see here so some of the things I wanted to do oh let me rewind I gotta go for whips right <laughs> Let me show you this one. If you remember, I did this last week. Um, it was the Drop Shawl. Or not Drop Shawl. It was the Evening in Paris by Drops Design. It's all tattered and torn now. Um, you can find it on Ravelry. Or you just type it in on the interwebs. So, if you remember, I was working on this shawl. It's uh, Evening in Paris by Drops Design. It is a converted pattern, I believe from Norwegian. So, the deal is, I frogged the hell out of that thing. <laughs> I will show you pictures. I keep doing this. I don't know which way I'm pointing. I will show you pictures <laughs> of what it looked like previously. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I decided to frog it. And if I went all the way back. Um, sorry, I'm a messy yarn person. <laughs> I may wash and vacuum, but I'm not very organized. So, if you see that first lace portion right where that little um, stitch marker is not really a stitch marker but not prior sweeper it's just to tell me the front side um, right here I, I frogged back I think I was 
I was up to this portion. No, I was up to this lace portion. Um, and then I just, the stitch count was off. It's still off, but not as bad. Um, something's, I'm not understanding something or whatever, but I mean, it just looks a lot better, more symmetrical on both sides, so it's not hanging off more on one side, and I think this will block out beautifully, like, let's pull that out, see, so if you see, I'm on, this is the last, I'm on the last, uh, I don't know what you call this portion, there's this portion, and this goes half. This portion goes twice, so it repeated twice this portion, and then you do more lace, and then you do just one of this, and then the rest of it is lace, so that's where I'm at, I'm trying to stretch it out for you, so, yeah, um, but I'm keeping it one color until I run out of this color. Which, if you remember, I have no idea what it was. I somehow threw my tag away. But, it is... Let me grab the... It is from this Baby... Baby B... Us... Yarn. This is called Sunny. This one. And I was just gonna... that with it and as you can see it has some nice uh, white pieces in it. It's not as bright as as everything's making it out to be in here but it is beautiful and I think it'll work a little brightness up. I might do an edging around it too. My own little <laughs> tweak on that pattern. So, And that's done with the 3.125 millimeter crochet hook. Alright, and then I haven't shown this in a while. Like I said, this is one of the blankets I'm just kind of working on. And if you see that, and this is kind of how far I've gotten. This is just a corner to corner. It's going to be a blanket for my mom. She doesn't know. So don't tell her, please. And then that's the other. A stitch marker, but I did make some progress, so I'm really excited. And this is just, uh, I think I've shown this, uh, Loops and Thread Michaels brand here. Acrylic and about 360 yards, 329 meters, 4 ounces, 113 grams. Takes a 4 millimeter crochet hook. I'm using a 3.75 crochet hook. And it's a 3 lightweight. I think that's a, oh, the colorway. Huh. Purple haze. It's purple haze. So, I thought it was really pretty. And this is just one of the project bags I need to make in need to put some stuff on and then it'll be done. By stuff I mean a zipper or <laughs> um, a zipper or a magnet. Alright, so this one is that well, can't show that. is the sling, sling heel sock, excuse me, by Very Pink Knits. It's about, it's an $8 pattern. And she does the German short rows. But I kind of started it. And I'm just using a simple, um,
caked up my, so I want to do two at a time, so I caked up these. And I can't, and I caked up, so these two colors are what I'm going to use. So the, the orange is going to be the heel, toe, and cuff. Okay. Just one second. Get my stuff together. And I did not stop in the middle of the row. Remember, it's during short row, so you kind of stop and turn. And I kind of started it. And I have the... So, for Very Pink Knits, she does this thing where you crochet. Uh, you crochet it on and then you knit into it. And then you're going to take that crochet out later. Actually, walk up and show you. This is gonna be easier. So that's why I messed up right there, as you can see. But um, this is a it's a DK weight. It's just like that other yarn I just showed you. It's about a three. I don't know. And this is on a three point two five millimeter crochet hook. So. This will be, this will form that toe pretty soon. It'll come around like, and um, so that's pretty cool. And I'll be doing two at a time once I get that other toe started. <laughs> All right. Again, me and my 5,000 project. And this is just a tool bag, actually. I'm just going to put my hooks in it, but then I just put this in. So, I just started the toe of a sock uh, crochet. And I am knitting in the back loop, or crocheting in the back loop. Don't know anything about this yarn. So that's what I have started so far. And it's just a practice one. And I was thinking of making it really crazy. And just uh, crocheting it with that. Just to be kind of silly and practice um, some crochet socks. With some random yarn I don't know anything about. That <laughs> I'm goodwill. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Yes, yes. <laughs> mm. I love coffee. <laughs> okay. So I talked about the machine knitting. The machine knitting. The brioche that doesn't seem to ever get done. Um, the finger... The, f the lace fingerless mitts. Obviously with that I could probably make a couple pair. Um... Alright, so on to the community knit night. Yeah, that, that didn't happen. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to try and find another solution to that situation. Another community knit. Another night. Another place. That's not happening. So. Um, I'm going to keep searching for that. Can't make the ones Thursday nights. I either do derby or work. I really would love to go, but I can't. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm still working on that regardless. <laughs> so, okay. So, on to my animals. Um, my son really wanted me to show you Machete, so she's over here sleeping. Machete! Come here! Okay, we gotta stretch. Hang on. Come closer. 
Okay. Here she is. She's all dirty because it's been raining and they have to go to the bathroom so they go outside. And she just wants to lay down because she was she was sleeping. And I woke her up. She's a four year old Yorkshire Terrier. She's feisty, demanding. She's a terrier. The layer size Fulia. She's she's a beast. She uh, bosses her brothers around. I will. You can like wake up for two seconds, woman. Um, I will show you a picture uh, right here of her brothers, and you know she chases the cats around and all that. So, my son wanted me to tell you that she is a two-pound dog. That means she, he says, because he's been doing all the research on it, that she's the second smallest dog in the world. I think the world record is like a one-point-something pound dog. She's about 2.4 pounds. Um, we keep her... I've shown you pictures before. We keep her short. We used to have her long, but... Um, She's a beast, so it's hard. I don't want to deal with it with her. <laughs> she's, she's a beast. She's all terrier. So we just shave her down. I just shave her down short. And, um, yeah, she's pretty good. Um, she does suffer from seizures, but she's on medication. Uh, what's it called? I don't remember. I will I will put the information across the soon the screen which medicine she's on. Um, she's not on the other one that I can't think of either. <laughs> um, but she has to go, it ha goes to special pharmacy because of her size to get it compounded. So, but yeah, this is her. She's dirty. Um, this is my dirty girl. Alright, Machete. Being camera shy? Yeah. Alright. I'll let you get back to sleep. And then, so the Beer Dragon is coming out of quarantine today. Um, so he finished his last dose of medicine yesterday. He, I just looked at him as being silly. He made a poop, so that's I wanted to wait to that sec, that last poop. Um, so then he's out of quarantine now. <laughs> he's trying to regulate his body temperature, so it's so funny when reptiles do that. They uh, get under the hottest part of their life and they sit there with their mouth keeping open. <laughs> so it's so they don't overheat, but they want to bring. Out of heat. It's kind of funny. I, I see it a lot in like um, bearded dragons and chameleons. It, it kills me when they do that. I'm like, what are you doing? I think he knows what I'm talking about. He's like, yeah. So, but he's super healthy, super big. I will post a picture of him and him being silly. And then I will post another picture, hopefully, of his quarantine, of his tank, not quarantine, so you'll see, like, the whole setup I had, I had, came up with on top of the hammock I just made, so, pretty cool. I do need to buy him bigger dishes, but I will probably go to Walmart and buy some dog dishes, because they're fairly inexpensive. Excuse me, and um, the dishes, I just buy them in a uh, specific color, and they kind of go with the, the decor, or they kind of fade out of the decor, so they don't overtake the decor, but I will buy him bigger dishes. And then this guy over here, the snake, is, I showed you, he's all set in his new setup. This is on top because they, um, they tend to break out their tank, so that's what that's for. <laughs> I 
but he's doing good. He's on large mice now. Or adult mice, I don't know. So he's a healthy, happy boy. Um, he did not, he was, he's, he has a humid hide because he's a tropical animal. So your humidity has to be up, up, and one of the things that helps is a humid hide. And basically, I just took a Tupperware bowl with some moss, put it in there, spray it. And obviously, it's in a heated tank, so it's the temperature that he likes, and it's humid, so he can go in there when he needs to. And then, he has his different places in his tank he can go. So, that's pretty cool right now but he hid in there the whole time for the new tank and then he finally he came out to eat went back in and now he's been out under his other hide so seems to be adjusting quite well so I'm very happy to see that very alert um, very inquisitive so that's good and then um, I appreciate everyone's comments. Um, thank you so much. Uh, someone, a couple of mentioned, uh, vibrant colors. Uh, yes. When I'm making stuff for myself, I like vibrant colors. I do wear a lot of black. It's true. I do like black and I do knit with, knit and crochet with black. But I do. Um, and I thank you. I thank you for commenting and I appreciate that and I think that is it so if you have any comments or questions please comment down below or reach me at my gmail account account any more uh, things you want to see me working on you can find it on my Instagram account and I just want to say thank you so much for watching I want you to make your day as awesome as possible because all of you are wonderful and you're awesome Again, this is Living Dread Girl with Locks, Knots, and Stitches. Bye!